Delta breeding is effective immediately. We sent News 6 reporter Nadine Yanes out to SeaWorld to get reaction from park guests. But first, we begin with News 6 reporter Justin Warmoth, who takes us through all these changes and what's next for SeaWorld. And Justin, this was a long time coming. Well, Lisa, it's a long time coming for critics of SeaWorld. You know, since the documentary Blackfish came out a few years ago, SeaWorld's park attendance and its revenue have been down, but the CEO thinks the moves announced this morning will change that. In fact, just today, SeaWorld stock has risen more than 6%. For decades, this has been a familiar sight at SeaWorld Orlando, but the days of killer whales jumping into the air, splashing guests, are numbered. SeaWorld CEO Joel Manby announcing today the park will not only end its practice of breeding the orcas effective immediately, but it's also phasing out the popular theatrical shows by 2019. Instead, the park wants to introduce a more natural educational encounter for its guests. Manby told CBS this morning the debate over whale shows is now over. However, it's clear that people are more uncomfortable, whether it's a movie, legislation, all these issues are affected. The movie he's talking about is the 2013 documentary Blackfish. Using interviews with former SeaWorld trainers and video of whales attacking people, the film suggests that captivity causes psychosis in whales, which led to the death of trainer Don Brancho in 2010. Since then, the backlash against SeaWorld has been strong, hitting hard its bottom line. Manby, though, is confident these moves will change the negative perception of the park. We love our orcas and so do our guests. However, the killer whale issue is a growing reason why many people don't visit SeaWorld. I've been here for 10 months. This is the first day since I've been here that the positive chatter on Twitter about us as a company overweighs the negative. And PETA also releasing a statement today in light of all this, saying that SeaWorld has taken a step forward, but more must come. They want the animals to live in ocean sanctuaries. Now, another big announcement today, and it's a bit of a twist, is a new partnership between SeaWorld and the Humane Society. Of course, the Humane Society, big critics of SeaWorld in the past. Live at SeaWorld, Justin Mormon, News 6. All right, Justin, thank you. Now, SeaWorld's announcement is getting some mixed reviews, but many guests say they do agree with SeaWorld. News 6 reporter Nadine Yana spoke to park goers. Nadine, what did you see and hear while you were out there today? Well, actually, Matt, I was able to go into the park, and you would not notice a difference there. It's as if this announcement didn't even impact park guests today. But what I did notice is that from the moment I walked in, from the entrance here, all the way to the souvenir cup that I was able to bring home with me, it's still, the orca whale is still a symbol here at SeaWorld. And I spoke to many of the guests, and they say, it's about time. They inspire us every day. And now, sit back and enjoy the show. The Killer Whale Show One Ocean started just the same as it does every day. But today, the future of these orcas at SeaWorld is about to change. The theme park announcing it will no longer breed the orcas and it'll slowly start phasing them out in shows. Shows Dion Redwood is going to see for the first time today. Well, I'm only coming because. Other people want me to come, and because of my daughter, you know, if it were up to me, I would go other places. Why? Because I kind of feel sorry for the animals, but I mean, I'm happy for the news this morning. And several SeaWorld guests today visiting from all over the world felt the same. I could probably agree with that, to be honest, yeah. yeah. Why is that? Why? Um, they're being kept in captivity there, really, aren't they? Um, yeah, they should be out in the wild. Good for the whales and everything, I guess. That's the right decision. But Cheryl Meza, who lives here, sides with SeaWorld. I believe they're taken very well care of. I see it with my eyes every day. And adds she believes this was a decision the theme park had to make. I think maybe for their sake it's probably a better idea. So SeaWorld hasn't set an official date on when those theatrical orca shows will end here in Orlando, but what they did say is that by 2019, they'll have that natural habitat for them where people could still get up close to the killer whales, but these whales will not be performing. Live at SeaWorld, Nadine Giannis, News 6. What a change, Nadine. Thank you. If you'd like to read more about SeaWorld's changes, you can go to clickorlando.com. Look right there on the homepage.